Thank you. We have some some different perspectives, but it's fun to see. One of the things I think about when I think of, of missions is that missions is life for a Christian, isn't it? It's there's not any one part of it that that makes it up. I remember always seeing missionaries come. And it seemed like, well, you got to go to Africa to be a missionary, right? I mean, that's what a missionary was, was somebody that went to Africa. And, and then I realized more and more, no, it's, it, it's not. It's, it's about reaching people in our church. It's about reaching people in our community. It's about reaching people in the next community over. And it is about reaching people clear to the other side of the world. It's about reaching out. And... I have two thoughts that just were sticking with me as far as thinking about my perspective of missions. And, and, and one is that I believe missions is personal. And even though we see missionaries, and even though, again, we think globally, we think things around the world, it's reaching a real person right. on the other side of the world. And it's reaching out to a real life and, and a real family. And I love... When missionaries come, I just my favorite part is to hear those personal stories. When they say, "Let me tell you about Brother Joe," and he said he was, you know, he was in this situation, and he came to our meeting, and, and we met him, and this is what happened, and this is how his life changed, and now he's working with us, and, and you hear those stories, right. and really, it is personal. As we. Uh, have some missionaries come in. One of the things I love about having our missionaries come is because we get to meet them and we get to see them. And, and being a pastor now has been a unique perspective for me because I've been able to meet more missionaries. And I know as our church, one of the things I love about it is, is you do interact with our missionaries as they come and you do ask them questions and you do get to know them. And, and some of you not only get to know them here, but some of you uh, have relationships with them, and you you get to know them even deeper, and have this this time with them, and realize that they're real people reaching out to real people, and we're connected with that. And and for us as a church, that's an important part for us. And one of the reasons missions is our heart is because it's we're re really reaching out to real people, and we're using uh, the tools that God gives us. And one of them is that He sends missionaries, and we're able to be a part of a great system and the Assemblies of God that's able to send people, but that again is a program and it hel it's a helpful tool and it does a lot for them, but it's the people behind it that really impact the lives that God's using them. And so I think for us as a church, I just love that. I, I want us to be more and more involved. I want you to know all of our missionaries. We have a, a missionary coming next week, and when I spoke with her, I, being, again, being a pastor is kind of an interesting spot. Pastor Cummings mentioned that, you know, you have all these missionaries coming, and they, they would like to, they're all like to, to receive support, which we'd love to support them all, but obviously we can't do that. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to shut them out, and I'd like to hear their, their message and their heart and what God has called them to and where, where they're going. And, and it, again, it's so unique. There's so many different things, whether it's called to the motorcycle field or to, to across the world or whatever it is. So here they come and they're, they're asking uh, and they say, they say, I want to know, I want to tell you. And so when I spoke with uh, Tanya, who's going to be here next, next uh, Sunday, she had such a wonderful perspective and I just loved it. She said, you know, I've, I've shared with some churches she said, and, and they don't even know who their missionaries are. She said, I've talked to them, and they don't, they don't know. And, and she said, and, and so they wanted to put me on, and they wanted to, and, and they wanted to put me on for a, a little amount. And they took out all these missionaries with a little tiny amount. She said, you know what I told them is, I said, you know, I'd rather you do is that you would just support one missionary and know who they are and pray for them and let them, you know, interact with and know them than to just have all this where you throw a little bit of money at everybody and you, you feel good about it. And I said, you know, that's a great perspective. I said, one of the things that when we have our missionaries here is we love to have the missionaries we support come. We love to know what they're doing and we want to know about them. And we do support a lot of missionaries and it's hard to keep track of all of them. I said, one of the things that 
we try to do is we, we want to be personal with them because we serve a personal God. And he reaches into personal people and real lives. And so, so we do that. So our church, one of the things that missions emphasis, one of the great things about it is we get to, to highlight our missionaries and know a little bit more about them and get to know them and, and have it on a personal level. And what happens is we begin to say, you know what? That ministry does mean something to me. I do care about those people that you're reaching to. And so we begin to pray and we're, we begin to support and we begin to encourage and do all the things that we can do because we care about it. And we see that it's not just, uh, you know, it's not just a salesman, that it is lives being touched. And, and so we do that. So we continue to just have that personal touch for missionaries. So missions, I love personal. Um, one more thing I was thinking about as far as missions is, is we, we want to know them and, and just share them. When we, when we know them, we share the burden. And so we share their burden with them. And it's the burden that God's given them. So we just continue to do that and continue to meet them and know them and to have a part with them and to be their partners. That's why we always call them our partners. The other thought I was thinking about as far as missions uh, is we've been talking about growth and growing, and I thought, well, you know, because really sharing the message is, is uh, something that it's almost a sales thing. It's not, we're not trying to get something from it, but it's saying, hey, let me tell you about something I have that's good. The Bible, that's, that's our human nature. We see that in, in people's lives in the Bible. When you find something good, you want to tell about it. And I thought, you know what? What makes us a missions church? The more we find that he's good, the more we want to tell others. Okay? If you don't have a passion to tell others, it's maybe because you haven't dipped enough yourself. You say, well, you know, if it's just a club to you, or if it's just a hobby, or if it's just something that you're kind of doing on the side, then you're not going to be excited about missions. But if it's your life, He's changed you, and you're growing, and you're filled with Him, then it's going to overflow. And you want people to know. Well, it's not just something good. It's not just a good luck charm. It's not just something I do on Wednesdays and Sundays. Is my life. And you need to know. Not because me. Not because I'm great, but because He's so good. The more we know Him, the more we want to make Him known share that. Uh, I thought about the direction of this church, and one thing that was kind of exciting to me and encouraging was I, I talked to a, a guy who was a little bit frustrated and uh, where his church was at, and he had some things, and, and he, he was talking to me about this church, and he, he was familiar with this church, and he said, well, he says, there's a difference. He says, I don't feel like our church is is going anywhere. He says, but, but your church has an identity. And I said, oh, really? Because I want to know. I said, well, what's, what do you think? He says, man, you guys just do missions. He goes, you guys, your, your heart is there. He says, you can, you can see it in, in the people and your attitudes and what you're, where you're going. He says, and I, he says I, I see that you've got that on track. You know, you're, that's where you're going. And, and I thought, well, that's, that's kind of interesting that somebody from outside would say, I see your church, and I see that it's a missions church. So, Lord, I want that to be always. That we, they see us and they say, you know what? There's a church that cares about people. There's a church that cares about others, and we want to stay on that track. And so, uh, just some interesting thoughts about missions. A little potpourri for you tonight.